chill a while. First, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashmi Hoshai. Double honest to the apostles and elders of Great Moonstone and Rule Well. And Yahweh Bashmi Hoshai, Basham Rakar Kadash, Brakthum to the elect out there, man. Uh, this is a um, quick video. I was um, just meditating on um, the fact that, you know, a lot of um, there's Christians and all that will say, for example, that, you know, they'll come up with a whole story of, and Muslims as well, they'll say, you know, Satan rebelled against God and, and um, you know, he didn't bow down to Adam and all this bullshit, which is not found in the scriptures, okay? And um, basically, I just wanted to break down that no one can resist, so lucky, I've got a bit of a cold, uh, no one can resist the the will of the Heavenly Father, man, Yahweh Bashim Hashai, no one can resist his will. That includes uh, the angels, that includes um, Satan being among those angels, the spiritual demon Satan, uh, that includes everyone, man. That even includes our Lord Yahweh Shai. Everyone is under subjection. Everyone is under um, Yahweh, the Most High, man. Okay? That's why it's called the Most High. He's on the highest level. On a level that we can't comprehend. Okay? Uh, so I'm just going to get into the scriptures and then just, you know, flow how. I've got a couple of scriptures lined up that I was kind of thinking about. But, you know, just how, here it goes. This is uh, Revelation chapter 4, verse 10. The four and twenty elders fall down before him that sat on the throne. And worship him that liveth for ever and ever, and cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honour and power, for thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. Okay? So, all things were created, man. That That's pre that's plain. Okay? I'm just going to... I'm just going to kind of breathe through these and just make a couple points, man, because I just wanted to hit the, hit the point home. Now, this is... Um, Revelation chapter, sorry, Romans chapter 9 verse 19. That will say on, then unto me, why doth he yet find fault? For who have resisted his will? Who? I mean, that's a question. Who has, when, you know, these Muslims will say, you know, God told um, Satan to bow down to Adam. And then they'll say, he, that's fables. He says that, he, that they'll, they'll say, he didn't, you know, he could actually turn around to the most high and say, no, I'm not going to do that. Because of his pride. No, it don't work like that. Okay, it don't work like that. When the Most High gives you a, when the Most High says something, it gets done, okay. When He makes a commandment, it gets followed, okay. It says, "Nay, but O man, who art thou that replies against God? Shall the thing formed, okay, wasn't wasn't Satan, the spiritual demon Satan, formed uh, by by Yahweh? We're gonna we're gonna get that. It says, um, "Why hast thou made me thus?" No, Satan's not thinking that. Satan's not re re replying back to 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 how Bashmi Al Shai saying you did, you're wrong. Okay, he's just he's just doing his job. Okay, he was created to sp to basically to spread wickedness through man. That was his that's his thing. Okay, and and he does a great job at it because he was designed and created to do that, man. In fact, let me get this next scripture quickly. This is a uh, Surah chapter thirty nine verse twenty eight. There be spirits that are created for vengeance. Which in their fury, so there's spirits that are created for vengeance. That means there's spirits that are there that would were, were made to do vengeful acts, killing, you know, putting putting guy putting wicked guys to death, man. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So yeah, yeah, um, how Shai is down with that, man. He's down with that because he created that. He's made, he says, I form the light and I create darkness. I, the Lord, do all these things. And Isaiah, man, well, the Lord is in control of all the different forces of, um, of you know, of destruction. Okay? Both war and peace. See, try, you know, these Christians and these other, um, other denominations of, um, you know, um, satanic worship, which, whatever it goes back to, these guys, they have it. They try and put the Most High into a box. You can't put the Most High on high into into a box. Okay, He created us. We we are no level to even question that. Okay, um, I forgot the scripture now, but, uh, but it says something along the lines of you know, um, His ways are not our ways. He's above and we are below. You know, and that's what it is, man. You can't be questioning Most High, man. That's why it says. Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? 
Satan ain't getting all f fucked up and feeling all fucked up about what he's doing. He's doing the right thing. He's he's righteously doing what he's meant to be doing. Okay, he's he's he is following the commandments. You how you how of you how about me shy? Because you gotta have both. You gotta have both sides for 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 different reasons. Okay, even in the kingdom, you're still gonna get and Satan's still gonna be doing um his thing, man. He's gonna go and go up to the heathen and he's gonna put demonic demons on them, man. They're gonna go off. Okay, and then we're going to have to go and correct them. Okay? Israel ain't going to go off. We're going to follow the laws perfect, man. As as it says in the scriptures, um, the Lord's going to give us a new heart, man. Uh, Khan, this is Hebrew chapter 12, verse 9. Furthermore, furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the father, and that's the point, unto the father of spirits and live? Now, the father of spirits. What does that mean? That means that all spirits were created by him, man. Okay. Now, technically, Yahweh Bar Shem Yahushai, the Most High, he created Yahweh Shai, the firstborn of of every of everything. Okay, of all creation, he made Yahweh Shai, and then he gave Yahweh Shai the blueprints to go and then create all the other things that we see. And we and I'm gonna get that in the scriptures in a bit, man. But I just want to get over the, over this first. Um. In fact, let me get that first. This is Colossians chapter 1, verse 12. Giving thanks unto the Father, that's talking about Yahweh, which have made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light, who have de delivered us from the power of darkness and have translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. Who's that talking about? Yahweh Shai, the anointed. Okay. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Okay. Who is, and for people that are just, Ain't never heard of Israel like that. When I ref refer to Yahweh Shai, I'm talking about the one that the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, okay? Whose real name is Yahweh Shai in the ancient Hebrew tongue, okay? Which means he deliverer, uh, he's he is savior, he's he this he savior. Where was I? In whom we have redemption through his blood, so that's how you know we're talking about, even the forgiveness of sins, who is the image of the invisible power, the firstborn of every creature. Okay, for by him were all things created, including Satan, that are in heaven. So that's in the spiritual realm up in heaven, the spiritual realm where the spirits are, and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by him and for him, and he is before all things, and by him all things consist. So, can can. Can the thing form say to the thing that formed it, "Why have you made me thus?" No, everything was created through, um, uh, you know, through first of all, through all credit goes to Yahweh, um, Yahweh Bar Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, through His Son, all things were done, man. And that's just how it was from the, from the beginning. That's why, um, that's why, um, the Most High is referred to as, as the Ancient of Days. And Yahweh Shai is referred to as the Alpha and the Omega, man. The first and the last, man. All, all of it. The whole shebang. Okay. Read this story. The, this whole life, okay, um, is the existence. It's a, it's, a far, it's a story of the father and the son, man. You know? That's what it is. And it says in Ecclesiastes, the whole purpose of man is to follow the commandments. And basically serve God, man. Now, I don't want to butcher that. Let me get that quickly. Ecclesiastes 12. Right. Verse Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Right? Now I'm gonna get um I'm gonna get Job chapter two. Now it says Job chapter two verse one. Again there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before Yahweh Shmiel Shai. And Satan came also among them to present himself before the um Yahweh Shmiel Shai. And the Lord I'm just gonna say Lord for now, just for the understanding, just make it quick. And the Lord said unto, unto Satan, "Well, I'm referring when I say Lord, when the transaction is with the capital Lord, that's referring to Yahweh, okay? And the Lord said, and the way that we call upon Yahweh, His name is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, right? Uh, and the Lord said unto Satan, in fact, let me break that down. And Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is basically means the Father uh, through, uh, and we call upon Him through the name." Of his son, which is Yahweh Shai. So the father in the name um, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. Um, 
you know, that's how we do it, man. That's, and it says in the scriptures that um, you got to go through Yahweh Shai to get to the Most High. He's the intercessor, okay? And the Lord said unto Satan, From whence comest thou? And Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth and from walking up and down it. So when 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 the Most High asked Satan a question, he didn't say, We well, ain't asking you that. We, we're enemies. Satan was right there up in the spiritual realm with the Most High, okay? Just like with the rest of the spirits, showing them reverence. And the Lord said unto Satan, Has thou considered my servant Job, and that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man, one that fear of God, and escheweth evil, and still he holdeth fast his integrity, although thou moved me against him to destroy him without cause? And Satan answered the Lord, and said, Skin for skin, yea, all that a man have will he give for his life. But put forth thine hand now, and touch his bone and his flesh, and he will curse thee to thy face. Now, this interaction, the Most High already knows and has set up this interaction in the spirit anyway. Okay? But it's being played out for what? Edification purposes. for Because it, it was prophecy. Because it was meant to happen. Because the Most High willed it to happen. It says, And the Lord said unto Satan, Behold, he is in thine hand. So the, the Lord, the Most High, Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, has now given permission to Satan. To say, look, he's in your hand now. I'll give it to you. But, but here's the but. He says, but save his life. So you're not allowed to kill him. He set a, a boundary that he couldn't cross. Satan didn't say he's not going to follow it. He didn't re re rebuke the Lord. He didn't go, but you can't do that. That's the most high, man. That's the father of all spirits. And what is Satan? He's a spiritual demon. He's a, he's a spirit. So all that bullshit that these Muslims and these Christians are coming out with, that's, that, is, that is not the truth. That is not um, the doctrine of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. I just want to deal with this as well before I close this video. This is Isaiah 14 and 12. Because people get messed up by the word Lucifer. I was watching a video that Apostle Har made. And uh, he mentioned that. Okay. Now, Lucifer and Satan as two different things. Okay. Satan being meaning the adversary. Okay. Uh, and Lucifer meaning light, light bearer. It says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down? To the ground, which did us weaken the nations. Let's see what um, it says in the blue letter. Light bearer. So uh, the example the apostle made was clear, man. If if you're in a dark room and you, uh, someone's got a light and then play the light, that means he's a, he's the light bearer. Okay. Let me just. There's someone at the door. Let me pause this video. Yeah, I mean I've um, uh, pretty much made the point here, but that that's all that word means. That they 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 don't mean the same thing. Okay. Uh. Right now, the true well, the true light bearer is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is the light, and the, and the men that hold that hold that understanding through Yahweh Shai, they 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 can be referred to as Lucifer. Like for example, the Illuminati call themselves the Illuminated ones. Now that's because they have the understanding of certain things. They know they know they know that they're Esau and so on and so forth, and who Jacob are. Okay, the the elites. So on one on on one side of it, they'd be Lucifer called Lucifer as well. That ain't got nothing to do with Satan. You've got the spiritual demon Satan, and he is subject to the Most High. And that's what it is. He can't go against the, what the Most High says. So all these Muslims and these Christians that are pushing that, you know, that's just off. That ain't of the truth, man. But, you know, I hope that's been edifying. Uh, all praise to Yahweh, Shemir, and Shai, and double honest to the Apostles and Elders of Great Muslim. Shalom.